Hello guys, I have signed up for the USA DLC uh, modders, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, we are a bunch of modders who will create mods, which is going to be the contents of this free DLC. Um, so I chose this uh, software or whatever you're going to call it, um, which is this train, sort of like Art Deco or something. Uh, very, very different, in interesting design. Looks kind of like an evil robot in a 30s uh, space movie or something. Um, so, I want to show you how the process is going or how it's made. So, I start out by finding this uh, uh, blueprint and I align him and uh, make sure everything is correct. And let's see, this is the back. This is, yeah, this side, and this is the top. Right. Um, I'm using Lightwave. I, I can't speak well enough about it. It's, uh, it's my favorite 3D app. Even though I'm learning Maya this year, uh, I still prefer Lightwave for a lot of stuff. Um, and I use a plugin called LWCAD, Lightwave CAD. So I have a lot of... CAD like tools. And I have set up um, a quick menu like this where I find all the tools I'm going to use um, or I'm using the most at any given point. So I start by a line, open in the numeric panel, and I sure I'm making a curve, not a straight line. And I start uh, to draw this profile of this train, and I'm going to switch off angle snapping here Hopefully. and there we go I have now made a curve uh, by tracing the blueprint uh, I refine this so it's uh, mostly following the blueprint when I'm happy with it I just tap space and I'm done um, uh, just extend this one, make it sure it's a straight line all the way to this place. I can snap it to 90 degrees and then I can make a new line out here all the way to the end. Now this drawing probably move it a little bit up with that and I'll make a new line, make sure it's a curve Perhaps I should move this point a little bit back. Line, take a point, point, switch of angle snapping, by the way, and connect that to that point. So, you see, using LWCAD makes it really quick to create uh, a forms or shapes like this. Uh, and you see all points and all that snap into each other. Let's uh, make sure that these curves are joined. They are one continuous curve. Okay, that's good. Um, that's good for the top shape of the, uh, the train. I've actually built this already, uh, most of the, of the train, but I'm gonna show you another part of this, which is making the uh, making sure everything is lining up and um, is giving the shape we need. Something like that. And then we can see here, straighten this a little bit. Make a new line, bring this all the way down. So I, I've already done this, right? Um, and I'm gonna show you what, oh, hey, Lucas is playing terrain fever. Um, anyway, right, now I have like, oops, too many. Yeah, right. Um, and I continue to do this, right? Follow the shape and create all these lines and all that. 
And here I have completed a set of lines or curves, if you like. Uh, notice the the uh, back part here, where it's probably going to be passengers, is different from the driver's compartment, which is more square down here. And I have converted these curves, which is LW CAD curves. I cannot create sub patches or patches or whatever it's uh, named uh, from these curves. So I need to convert them to lightweight curves, which is just about the identical. There's some misalignment here, but that's not going to be a big deal. And uh, let's copy these curves uh, to a new set of layers and just show you what these are uh, are made for. So I select uh, a bunch of curves here, four of them. I hit a button to make a spline patch and I say, okay, I want to have um, five in width and two in height. There we go. And then I continue to do this patch by patch. Actually, I want to have one in the height here to so keep this uh, model nice and clean. And here, that's something special. You have this corner segment, and it's not only uh, not only curving this way; it's also curving this way. So we, ha we need to have more segments. So I'll still keep the ten in the width, but I'll add eight in the height. That way, I will end up by having a really smooth curve here, without some issues with some. Ah, okay. Good thing we are using LWCAD and can just fix the polygons. Right. And doing it this way, instead of selecting edges and extrude them or um, polygons or whatever, is that I can very nicely control how many polygons are, are used to make up this shape. Oh, here's an error. Let's see if we can, yeah, there we go. So as you see, the higher the polygon um, density, if I can call it that, the smoother the shape, right? I could do all this manually, but why would I? This is really fast. It's a really fast way to create the shapes you need, right? I think I used eight for this. Oh, by the way, the amount of polygons this way should match the amount of polygons I have this way. So it should really be eight here. Right. And I can continue to do this until I'm perfectly happy with the, uh, with the shape I get, right? And when I'm done, I get something like this. I've added a few details here, though. Um, uh, I'll cover more about that later, but it's really uh, just a cylinder and a bunch of cylinders back here as well, which is going to be the, uh, the exhaust you can see here. Oh, there's a detail I have noticed. Uh -huh. I need to add some some stuff on the top here won't be a problem anyway this is a very quick run through how i create my mods and models for train fever